CLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be discussing Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is vectors. Our subtopic is column vectors. So we are going to look at what column vectors are and then also we are going to pre uh, represent them graphically and see how they are represented. So a vector is represented by a direct line segment which is a segment with an arrow at one end indicating the direction of the movement. So remember initially we talked about vector having direction and magnitude and direction is shown by the presence of an arrow. And then uh, magnitude is a size, you can see it, it's moves from at a certain distance and a certain length. So if you look at the um vector we have like in the diagram below you notice there is an arrow to show the distance that it's moving from point a to point b and then you can see there is also length it's a certain length that uh, vector is so unlike a ray a directed line segment has a specific length as i've said so the direction indicated by an arrow is pointing from the initial point and in this in the in this case our initial point is is A and the terminal point is B as we had discussed initially in the beginning. So when we are indicating vectors, we have two components. So for, for example, to get from A to B, first of all, we are going to move six units in the X axis, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six units. And then we are going to move also four units in the Y direction. So you go up one, two, three, four in the Y component. So when we are indicating uh, the column vectors, it has two components, the component on the X axis and the component on the Y axis. And the X axis comes before the Y axis. So in this case, for example, we were moving six units on the X axis. So the vector, the first vector, the value on the X axis would be six and then since you are moving four units on the y-axis the y component would be four and this would form our column vector so let's look at a few more examples uh, in regards of some of the components of a vector in 2d so if you look at this vector for example and this vector for example there are two different sets of vectors and you notice the movement along the x-axis and the movement along the y-axis. In the x-axis, it's changing. So if you look at from point A, if you want to move from point A to point B, you notice you're going two steps on the x-axis and then four steps on the y-axis. And you have indicated that in our column vector. When you look at vector C, D, you are moving from point C, point D. You notice you are going in the opposite direction. So if you go to the opposite direction, remember when you look at a Cartesian plane, it's supposed to have the positive sides and the negative side. So as you move towards the negative side, it means that the vector on the x-axis is negative. Although on the y-axis, you are moving two units, so it remains positive. So this is the rule when it comes to the displacement of a vector. So if displacement is parallel to the x-axis, are positive if they move to the right, and if they move to the left, they are negative. It doesn't really matter even if it's on the positive side of the x-axis. If it moves towards the negative side, it is negative. And then displace, displacement prior to the y-axis are positive if they move upwards. Remember, if they move upwards, they are going to the upward, the positive side of the y-axis. If they move downwards, they are going to the negative side of the y-axis. So they become negative. So let's do a few examples and show them also in a graph and how specifically they are going to be identified. So write each of the following vectors in the form of A and B. Basically write them in, in, in form of a column vector. So when you look at A, so we are going to move from point A to point B. So you can join it with a straight line, but it's not necessary. As long as we have the beginning, the, the starting point, and the ending point, it's still okay. So let's see how many steps it goes along the x-axis, or how many units it covers along the x-axis. So this is the first unit. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So since it's going on the right direction, it's going to be positive. So it's 7. And then on the y-axis from this point is 1, 
to and since it's going upwards it's going to be positive also so vector a b is going to be this this is the call this is the coordinate of the the uh, uh, values of the vector a b let's look at a b c b c so we are moving from b you see it's opposite to c you can join this with a line but not necessarily you can use a line to join so we are moving from point B to point C. So we are going on the opposite side. So let's wrap this so that we can work out for it, the second value. So we are moving from this point B to this point C. So our vector is going in this direction. So first of all, you notice on the x-axis, we are going to move how many steps on the y-axis? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven steps but we are going downwards so our y coordinate is going to be negative seven remember our x coordinate is on top and remember we are starting on y because our starting point is at b and then our terminal is at c that's the reason why we started with the y value but that doesn't matter when you're writing the column vector if it's going to come down here and then on the x-axis we are moving one two three for o, but we are moving on the opposite direction on the negative side so it's going to be negative 4 so this is going to be the the vector the column vector for bc so if you've seen how we've done it and finally ac so we are moving from point a to point c so our vector is going in this direction so we move uh, how many steps on the y-axis from point a so one two three four five so we are moving five steps and it's down one on the y-axis so you put five on the uh, x co on the y coordinate and then on the x-axis we are moving how many steps one two three and since you are going to the positive side it's going to be three so this is going to be vector ac and that's how we identify coordinate or uh, column vectors uh, on a on a graph so let's do an example. So we are supposed to identify the column vectors for these specific vectors. So we will start with J, K. So you can see the arrow is moving from point J to K. So J is the beginning, K is the terminal. So we are moving J at how many steps? One, two, three steps on the x-axis. So it's going to be three steps. And then, and since it's positive, because you can see the direction it's going, and then on the y-axis, it's one, two three on the y-axis and then since it's going upwards it's going still to be positive let's look at vector this is now vector j k let's look at vector g f so you can see g f is moving from this point to this point You notice like when you move from point G and F at the X uh, units, it's going at zero units. It's remaining as it is. There is no movement that is happening on the X axis. So the X coordinate is going to be zero. But you can see from point G to F, you're going to move four steps. That is one, two, three, four steps on the y axis so this becomes four since it's going upwards it becomes positive so the same thing applies with e and d you can see on the x axis still it's not moving but on the y axis we are moving one two three four so you notice the coordinate is zero negative four it's negative four because it's going downwards downwards on the negative side so that is going to be vector e d and you're just moving on that direction if we look at vector ts as you look at the arrow ts so ts is going to move how many steps on the y-axis one two steps on the y-axis and it's downward so it's negative two and then on the x-axis one two three but it's on the opposite side so it's negative three so you need to be careful if it's moving on the positive or the opposite side because that is what carries uh the type kind of units that you're going to have let's pick this one uh vector c o 
So vector C O on the y axis, it's moving one, two, it's moving two on the y axis and it's positive because it's going upwards. And then on the x axis, one, two, three. So it's going to be negative three because it's going on the opposite side. So you have three more vectors remaining. Make sure you check out the, the questions. I'll leave those three vectors so that you can work them out. You can check out the answers in the notes and app. So that's it for today. I hope you've been able to see how column vectors are identified on a graph and how we write them, the units on the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate and how we determine if it's positive or not.